Asbestos was used in the lining or backing of electrical switchboards for houses and for commercial buildings because of its good insulation properties. Small package boards are one of many components containing asbestos found within switchboards. Licensed electricians need to take care to avoid exposure to asbestos fibres when changing older style small package boards that may have an asbestos backing fixed to the mounting board. Before beginning, electrical safety is always the priority. Wear the appropriate PPE for the task. Firstly, remove all power to the switchboard by removing the service fuse at the power pole or pillar box and test to ensure the switchboard is de-energised and isolated so that it cannot be inadvertently re-energised. Check for other sources of power supply coming into the switchboard, such as from a solar PV system. Now make a barrier near the work area to prevent normal public access. The barrier might be signage or tape to warn householders or visitors to the property about the type of work being done. Other things to do in advance are to lay plastic on the ground and fix in place to catch any dust or residue that may fall from the work area. Tape an asbestos disposal bag to the wall to act as a convenient waste bin for asbestos containing materials and for later disposal of all PPE. Set up a separate flat area covered with plastic sheeting to be your decontamination area. Next, pull out the fuses and wet the area with water mixed with a suppressing agent such as PVA glue which will help contain the asbestos product. Make sure you put on your PPE with care. Start with boot covers, then the overalls, then add the disposable respirator and make sure you fit check the disposable respirator to your face. Lastly, pull up the hood over the respirator straps. Now you're ready to start removing the package board and any asbestos used in the backing. Our electrician, Stefan, firstly removes the circuit breaker to have clear access to the board. To keep any asbestos fibres damp and intact, he reapplies the water and glue mix to the entire area. Now Stefan disconnects the wiring and holding screws. He then re-wets the area as some parts of the asbestos board are still dry. He carefully removes the wet asbestos and places it into the disposal bag set up earlier. He also wets and then disposes of the small package board. Then he cuts the unwanted wiring and removes the wetted mounting board and puts it in the waste bag. Using disposable wipes or wetted rags, he cleans all the wiring and the inside of the cabinet using the wipes once, then folding once only to a fresh face of the cloth before disposing of it. Stefan wipes down all flat surfaces and his tools, disposing of each of the wipes as he uses them. In the final cleanup, Stefan uses the water and glue mixture to wet down the drop sheets where any dust or residue may have collected. Now he folds all the sheets in half and then on themselves to a manageable size and puts them into the approved asbestos disposal bag, making sure that every trace of debris has been captured. Stefan now decontaminates himself. He stands on the wet plastic area he set up for this and mixes his disposable overalls with water before taking them off. The boot covers follow, one at a time, stepping off the drop sheet as each boot is cleaned. Now he folds and bags the drop sheet he was standing on, followed by the respirator, then tightly twists and tapes the top of the bag, goosenecking it and taping it again. Finally, he places that bag into another thick bag and tapes it closed, ready for disposal. Before leaving the site, he ensures that it has been left clean and tidy and that nothing has been used.